Let's see if we can do a quick one on the Tyson. Oh, the digital display one that just came in. I did muck up the end a little bit, trying to figure out how it comes apart. And there's little catches on the fat sides, not the long sides. It's the round sides there. There's little catches. So, uh, that's your friend and your enemy all at the same time. So, you can pull the whole coil, wiki material, and everything out the bottom after you release the two notches on the side. Let's see here. Get my table all wet because the tank stayed in the device, and I had to uh, play with that. Give me a second. Let's see here. You see how there's a catch? Shake, wiggle, wiggle, shake. Bad lighting, I know. There's a catch right there, and there's one oh, on the opposite side. It's hard to see see it. Okay, I'm going to try to stand this up. So, the tank stayed in. The top part stayed in. And the mouthpiece stayed in. So, what you do when you pull it all apart, pop that out. These all stay in. You gotta poke everything through this way. And out the bottom. Okay? So then, what you're gonna need to do is put the mouthpiece back in. That should be no easy task. You'll need oh, something to guide it up in there. It'll get you over in the light. And get that all straightened out and happy I don't know whatever that is that just smiles. let's see oh. Oh. this was probably up in the mouthpiece yeah can't see it there A little straw that was probably in here more than likely whatever I'm leaving that out because I can um, right, so what you can do, I didn't pay attention to if this mattered. It's going to matter where the screen is. So, the screen is on this side, so you want to put this in this way. I'm going to guess. I really want to take this out now and see if I need that. God ah, darn it. Of course, everything's got to be difficult. You try to do a quick bid. Try. Let's see here. I'm just going to stick that back in there. Uh, it's back in there. Okay? Now, try to stick this back up in there. The hole in the tank is... Offset. I don't have a thumb. It's got tape on it. I'm not going to. When the vape goes down on the table, I should use a pencil or something. But I think when I push this in, I'm just going to end up popping that back out. Oh, I got it. So now the mouthpiece is fully set in there, right? So I can take the tank, essentially, and try to get it back over this. I wish it didn't come apart like that, but it did. Put the tank back in there. Now, when you vape on the device, it comes up when you're vaping on it. How much battery percent is left when you stop vaping the number changes the number that changes is the percent of how much juice is left in the tank essentially this says 75 percent but that's closer to like 60 in my book um, as long as i have it apart we're going to take the time and use some green goo here uh, this is heisenberg berry menthol 
and it's 70-30, and I'm going to shake like a child on a whole bunch of candy, because that's what I do nowadays, uh, and it's going to take forever, so short vid no more, it's long vid time, you can see it slowly working its way in, on these kind of tanks, I like to just kind of fill up one side, because it will eventually soak over, eventually, uh, the more I squeeze, the more I shake, the more I shake, the better I feel, so let's eat beans at every meal, that's not how that goes, but that's how it goes today, I shouldn't taste this flavor for a while, but who knows, it does have, you know, a minty menthol to it, so maybe, you just squeeze in the goodness, you see how that's changing colors, look at that, it's like a weird Mopar paint job from the 70s, a little yellow, a little green, a splash of white, uh, bump up bump. Now, I can't go over here. I do like a place for air to escape, though, so I still have this whole corner over here that doesn't have any liquid in it. If you overfill this or fill it up so far that uh, there's no place for any of the air in the tank to escape when you close it, there's a good chance it'll slightly leak onto, or, you know, not necessarily leak, but seep, all right, uh, through your coil, and where's your coil? Well, in the perfect placement to drip right on top of your electronics, okay? Yes, yes it is. Now, yeah, I felt that. It went, it went bleh when I did that, so there's going to be some juice right here. And I'm going to blow it out before uh, before it can juice. Oh, it already dripped. Did you see it? Did you catch it? Before it can drip all over the device itself, okay? The hole is set to one side. So that's where your mouthpiece needs to go, right? And this is a tight, tight fit. Uh, they did good work on this at the factory. Squeeze, squeeze, okay? And voila, it will slide up in there uh, and snap into place because of those goopy catches. Now, I don't know if the juice uh, level indicator is going to stop working once it hits 0% or not. So... That says uh, 70, oh. 75 for juice when I inhaled and 70 for battery. Still tastes like watermelon bubblegum. But it is a little gurgly, so maybe you want to leave it upside down for a little while so it doesn't get onto your electronics. But, uh, yeah. Yo, Tyson, you can take it apart. There you go.